back to my channel. I am Madhu Mishra. I am a researcher. I did my PhD from Isil Trivandrum, and right now I'm doing my postdoc at Chennai Mathematical Institute. I work on string theory, supergravity, and black hole. And this is your second part of MSc interview. If you haven't seen the first part, please do check that out. We covered a lot of that, uh, a lot of your questions, and uh, in that part, and some of the questions were remaining. So we. I kind of uh, took the liberty and divided it into two parts so that you can first you can observe all the queries that you asked in the first part then we can discuss something else here so in this part we discuss about MSc schedule in ISA how busy their life is and how they are managing doing coursework as well as research and how the research are like when do you start your research and how do you get your research project and everything else and so hope you like this video and you find this helpful and if you have even more questions if these two part of MSc interview doesn't answer all your questions please do let me know in the comment section below I will try to come with some MSc student from either chemistry or biology or I think that's all or maths if they are offering maths I don't know properly yet so I will try to come up with someone uh, and try to answer all your questions till then support my channel watch the video till the end and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and let me know what you think about these videos please do check that out check out the question answer session that I did alone where I answered your general question about research life and PhD and ISER. So I'm going to link both the videos in the description box below. So do that, check that out and ask as many questions as you want. And if you don't want to ask in the comment section below and you are shy or something, you can DM me on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is I underscore Madhu 5. So please do check that out. And without further delay, let's get into the video. Oh, got to know me through YouTube channel, right? Yes, 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 and yes. Then you uh, before you coming to ISA TBM, like when I uh, got to know that I am selected for the master's course, yes. then uh, I could say I was searching YouTube and the best channel for that I found was Madhu Deez. And I could reach ISA campus because of her, because she told the ways by taking what bus, the screenshot also you put in uh, of that ISA bus timings and everything because it is so difficult to reach the campus when you don't know the language and you are coming for the first time the mountainous you know roads uh, you at one point of time you start to doubt that the driver is the correct person or not <laughs> because in the hilly areas and you don't find you know much of city crowd over here or the people you will only find the town people so it is a, a good experience an adventurous experience in its own way so okay first of all uh, could you tell us about the schedule of a first year msc student in iser like how yeah. is, how is your day distributed basically yeah so uh, if i tell you that uh, for specifically speaking about the school of physics uh, the master student has four coursework in each sem and one lab sessions uh, that is advanced physics lab and apart from that we have a seminar course in which we have to give the seminar like it is expected that the student would work upon a topic or would read some research papers and in the end of the semester would present it uh, uh, something kind of a pre-synopsis but it is not our work uh, we uh, we are like in a state where we have to tell about or explain it to to the professor. Yes. Okay, so we are having four major coursework, and our day starts at nine or eleven a.m. Mm -hmm. in the morning uh, because a few days the classes start at nine a.m. or the other days the classes start at eleven a.m. and this is what I am telling you about the first sem. In second sem, our classes start at 10.30 or 11 a.m. So roughly you can uh, think of that you, you would be having classes from 8 till 12 or till 1 p.m. And then there would be a lunch break. 
and if you are having the lab sessions that day then again from 2:30 to 5:30 you will be having uh, your lab sessions lab and uh, lab in the second sem okay. yes 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 so there are the, the lab sessions are 3 days a week oh. so on monday on wednesday and on friday we usually have our lab sessions from 2:30 to 5:30 pm and apart from that if you have taken some elective course in your uh, second sem then it may go that uh, the class is from 5:30 to 7 pm so like in this semester i have taken quantum information theory as my elective so i have the class on tuesdays and thursdays so i get free at 7 pm okay and other day uh, other days my my you know the college hours end at 5:30 pm so how many electives are you supposed to take like so in first sem we are of credits that you have to achieve for the first three semester you have to uh, Uh, have sixteen credits, and in the final semester, you you have to take eighteen credits. Okay, mm -hmm. so in the first sem, there is no scope of elective. You have to study all the four courses. Okay. In second sem, you have an option for one elective course. In third semester, you have an option for three elective uh, for two elective courses, and in the final sem, you have two electives or three electives and a research project. Mm -hmm. so let me tell you that how the things are distributed because it is little bit complex to understand yes a student the uh, the thing is that either commits that a student would be doing at least a research project of 6 months officially okay so that would be in the final semester of your masters course right. other than that you can also have a research project for one year that is your third and fourth sem mm -hmm. okay but on ground reality is that there are few students who take a research project who approach the professor little early okay and they may start to work during their second sem only okay by having little bit of uh, reading material and everything but officially that project would be of one year or six months so if you are having a one year research project then you will be having two electives in your third semester otherwise you will be having three electives in your last sem and a research project okay. or if you are having one year research project then two electives in the last sem and and the research project so this is also given in the official site so you can refer to, to that and what would you recommend like six month project or one year project or more than that uh, yeah so so it differs on the choice of the student in the way that you want to go into theoretical or into experimental you want to apply abroad for phd or you are thinking for your phd you know in this uh, in, in in india only or you are more interested to have course work or you want to build your understanding then you should have more elective courses okay otherwise if you are fully dedicated that i would be going into this field only in my phd also then you can uh, think of i would be needing one year research project so that i can do something more meaningful right. okay otherwise uh, a six month project in which you only you don't get a chance to do something new right. you only study uh, the reading material the professor provides or Uh, you know about you get to know about his uh, research only right. and if you want to apply somewhere abroad then what they are looking for is your research experience right so it is better that you have a one year project but it is not mandatory whatever it is preferred over yeah. yes because i have seen that people in abroad when you apply for phd they ask you to list down all the coursework you have taken and icer actually helps because the coursework they are looking for is everything that icer provides all the coursework they are looking for like quantum field theory general relativity everything is provided in icer so they it's good if you apply for uh, abroad phd icer actually helps uh, this is what i've been told by an i uh, previous bsm student who is doing his phd in northeastern university So he also worked with Matthew. Matthew was there, and within six months he had a paper in PRD. 
so that helped him uh, in his application also basically and he got into five universities in us and europe i think in total he applied at 10 places and he got selected in five places out of which he chose north east eastern university so i i sir uh, this curriculum actually helps and yes. uh, also i wanted to ask you like what is the thing that has changed like your perception towards like this is what you thought that iso would be and how it is different from what you thought it would be uh, yeah good so or like when i you have to be transparent yes. you can mention yes, yes, yes. and bad things both yes 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 first of all when i was uh, you know when i did my class 12 and i was going to delhi university i i had uh, you know heard a lot about it that it is a central university uh, most of the big names were successful people from india have uh, studied from delhi university any of the colleges so i had this in mind that that would be a place where there will be big professors a very disciplined place the quality of knowledge the classes would held on time and everything but that was not the scenario over there yeah. and i was little disappointed so when i was coming to iser i i knew about my past experience and disappointments okay. so i didn't have you know any much of expectations but i knew somewhere or the other that isers are very big colleges and there are only seven colleges and iser tiruvananthapuram is comes in good names of the isers list mm -hmm. and when i came here i i can tell you that i was more than happy okay. i was uh, very fascinated by the place uh, it is like studying in mother nature's lab you know <laughs> studying about Uh, laws of nature and uh, the place is very peaceful very serene uh, and it is uh, i would say it is isolated so there is no you know intrusion of external people into the campus uh, what i feel is uh, because when i was at delhi university uh, the campus area people from outside could also visit but it is not the case over here and uh, also the mountains the forest area yeah it is very beautiful yeah campus is the like iser campus is the best like, yes like, iser tiruvananthapuram's campus is the best campus yeah for sure like i have been to iser pune and bhopal i haven't seen mohali and kolkata but i've seen iser bhopal and pune and i think I, iser trivandrum is the best iser but, like, yes yes but for some people i think it would not be the same case it, it Uh, because for some reason we are in the same uh, this yes. uh, we are thinking like the same people because we like isolation yes, yes. and like we just want to yes yes and uh, you know from childhood that. only that uh, from childhood only we have this conception that if you want to become a scientist you have to live in, in an isolated Absolutely. place at yes, yeah. mountains with long beard <laughs> so yeah, so as a child around. i always wanted to do that you go around <laughs> and, and uh, anywhere and work Yes, 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 yes. This is the best thing. Like PhD students usually work late night uh, in their labs, and there is no boundation of time limit, or the department has to close. There is nothing like this. Yes. So these kind of, you know, the independence you get at uh, Isers or at I would say IASC and big names, is is what makes them an ideal college or an institution for research. you won't get these kind of facilities at any other place even in universities or somewhere up to my knowledge and what is one thing that you would like to change about iser like this would if this one thing i would it, like to change about iser tiruvananthapuram is that i want the food deliveries and the amazon <laughs> deliveries <laughs> you know little isolated yes. places food delivery <laughs> yes 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 but i want isolated place but i don't want a place where i can't get an ola uber or i cannot even order food <laughs> okay <laughs> even the amazon takes 20 days to deliver the books so so you can think that how isolated this place is Very and nice. if you think of going to the city you have to think 100 times before going because it takes 2 to 2 and a half hours yeah. to reach the place yeah. <laughs> now, correct so i said screening things now because uh, yes 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 we uh, like uh, i i can say that in every two weeks we have a screening of any movie at our 
you know now we also have if madhudi you were there uh, the billboard is also installed yeah. in the campus i hope you have seen it yeah, yeah okay. you have passed out after that yeah yeah okay. so now the students uh, yeah yeah the students are watching uh, films in the billboard oh, so it? yeah it is a very yes 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 yes, yes, oh, yes. when i was there they were only watching fifa world cup fifa no now the screening is on the billboard ah uh, i would not have liked <laughs> <laughs> too much <less. laughs> yeah. yes 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 people sitting uh, outside the cake world and watching the films <laughs> amazing it's amazing like for students like bsms students is very good for phds it's yes. not as good like because we are very few people mm. so you can enjoy yes. this billboard and these things if you have a larger group of people you sit around yes. and have fun Yes. It's too like you are mentioning. There are six people in IPHD, and not all are yes. friends because we have chosen different yes. parts in different labs, and we are uh, like, specializations different, and everything. And different timings yes. also. No, we are get free at different times, so we are not all close friends. So very small groups. So you yes. don't get to enjoy these things. You know? And the weeks are so hectic that when yeah. you get holiday in the weekends, you prefer sitting. uh at your place you know cleaning the stuff <laughs> and everything <laughs> and and one more thing which i really really want to change about aizer trivendram is that somehow these insects in my room all the time insects i i want to get rid of them like i cannot keep my water bottle on the table because okay. all the insects would crawl into the water bottle What? or especially the ants yes literally like i am giving i had no insect in my room uh, these so many insects like i don't think there was there was any time when there is no insect no ant on my table oh. never uh, oh. i am in anamudi block 6th okay. floor and What? just in front of my table is this window and so jungle yes That yes, is. yes, yes. It's complete jungle. Yeah, that is why I did because I was. You tell the city like, people they'll give this, do this pesticide uh, something. Mm. They used to do in our hostel because I was in ground okay. floor, so they mm. use this pesticide. I I have never okay. seen a single ant in my room, even if I had like food okay, or okay. something. Like until unless I keep something open, some some sweets or some chips open, then there will be mm. ants. But they will be inside the packet, not outside the room. so uh, that is the only I am very... get this uh, white chalk lakshman rekha yes, yes. and uh, tell yes, the yes. security people to do this pesticide they will yes, do it yes. and it will yes. be better actually yes just yes, tell yes. them they will do it to complain something start complaining okay. in aisa that works actually in yes, aisa yes. i've seen that if you complain it actually works which is not the case in anywhere like you can keep complaining yes. it doesn't yes. happen nothing will yes. happen i i would agree to this thing uh i think the people in kerala are much more you know uh, they give attention to feedbacks of students and everything and also you see in uh, kerala they don't complain actually so if you complain yes. it means that it is a big thing in you yes, yes. we just complain about it we just complain so they don't want to yes complain anyway so they just don't complain. yes kerala yes. most people don't complain about like until unless oh. they have a major issue They will just not complain about anything. So when you complain, they take it seriously that maybe it's a major. In North, if a person is complaining, then we get the confirmation that everything is going well. <laughs> yeah, I've seen very few people who are very happy in the campus because not many people like this isolated life. No, because anyway, yes. you have too much pressure, right? Yes, correct. In Iceland, correct, you're correct, taking, correct. So you're working from morning eight to seven thirty. and then you have no mm. life left because everything has been sucked out of you and you just have to sleep mm. and then you can't yes. go and watch a movie in weekends so you're just stuck yes, yes. and some of the professor won't let you go in weekends also they will keep weekends the meeting also, on yeah. sunday this this is a phd problem they'll keep the meeting on saturday or sunday all right i hope you find this video helpful and you if you have any more questions please do let me know in the comment section below till the next video see you bye bye